All right, the uh, drunk Yinzer is coming you, to you live from uh, the back seat of our rental Ford Escape because it's thunderstorming outside at our campsite, and um, it's also getting dark, so we have no good light even if we wanted to get wet. Um, but we picked up some local brews on the way up uh, to the campsite after the McDonald Lodge trip. Um, right now we are enjoying it's, uh, North Fork Amber Ale. It's uh, it's brewed uh, just up the road uh, on the lake outside the park. It's just your basic run-of-the-mill amber. It's uh, it's got a little malt, a little malty taste to it. Um, uh, not a whole lot, not a whole lot going on, but it's it's real smooth. Uh, great finish. Tastes good after a hike, so I know. Indeed, um, and then we also tried uh, the Pig Ass Porter that we picked up, um, another local beer. Yeah, this one's brewed in Belt, Montana. No idea where that is. Mm -hmm. um, as far as porters go, I, I would describe it as a gateway porter. <laughs> it's uh, it's a solid dark beer. I use solid a lot, but that's I mean, it's a lot, all the beers that we've had are very smooth. Um, you know, it's got a good roasty <laughs> flavor to it. Uh, made a little light for me on that taste, but I mean, again, it's it's a it, like I said, it's a gateway porter. If you don't like dark beers, it's a good one to try with. Yeah, neither beers are bad. Uh, you know, I wouldn't object to drinking them again. No, um, no definitely not. They're you know we like to, to try the local beers wherever we're at. Um, that's why we're here. Um, coming up next, we have uh, we we kind of turned to the dark side a little bit. And go liquor. We do. We it's we true. walked into a liquor store on the way here and found that they also have some local uh, some local offerings that we wanted to try out. Um, so hopefully that review will not come from the backseat of Port Escape <laughs> with the lights on for, for proper lighting. Um, so until the liquor review, uh, this is the Drunk Yenzer. Cheers. Cheers.